it's me again, sitting on the couch. <laughs> um, no, seriously though, um, I I wanted to do a uh, 2015 goals video, and um, I just I don't have the time to make anything fancy, so I'm just gonna sit here and just kind of rattle off what my goals are, and um, so. I don't know, not that exciting, but anyway, here it goes. Um, but before I get to the goals, I want to kind of wrap up 2014. And I started out 2014 at my highest weight ever. And it kind of, it kind of got me, I don't know, it just, it got, it got me to, to, change and um, so I started making a lot of positive changes in my life and it wasn't because it was the new year um, it was just I was ready for a change and um, I just I needed it and so anyway the year I reached more goals than I ever thought possible um, a lot faster than I expected to um, I thought that it would take a while to be able to run a 5k, um, and while I did do a 5k in that first month, which was not the plan, um, I, I wasn't able to run one until, like, March, but I had already done... I had already done, like, several by then, and my original goal was to do one 5k for the whole year. And I ended up doing, technically I did 11 plus one 10K. And my goal was to do 12 after I reset that goal. So um, part of me wants to be really hard on myself and say that I didn't meet that goal because I didn't do a 5K in December. Um, just the holidays kind of got away from me. Um, and I was also kind of lacking some funds to be able to pay for a 5K. Um, as well as lacking the training and the discipline to actually get up off this couch and um, do anything about it. So I um, I need to go easy on myself because I got that 10k in, and um, that was a big one was to get that done by my birthday. And while I had wanted to do it back in the summer, I did it by my birthday, which was the original goal. So um, which wasn't even the original original goal. <laughs> um, anyway, it was a good, the first part of the year was great. Um, the second part of the year, I transitioned. I transitioned from living in Louisville to, um, moving to Northern Kentucky and, um, fully being on my own. Um, I mean, I, I guess I did, I lived with other people the first part of the year and that was kind of that was kind of interesting and I think that living with other people even though they didn't like really help me per se they helped me by just being there and me knowing that they're watching me and I knew I know that they weren't watching and judging me it wasn't that kind of watching me um, but I put that judgment on myself and I used that to motivate me. But now, um, you know, the last part of the year I've been completely on my own. I also started a new job which took up all of my time for the first couple months. Um, and I used that as an excuse. Um, and it was a really good excuse because I was really working pretty much all the time for the first couple months. But the last couple of months, like October, November, and of course December, I, I've had time. I come home and I watch TV and I don't do anything and I know that that's what I'm doing. And so I have had the time for exercise, but I just didn't make it. Um, so that's kind of, yeah. Anyway, that's where I ended up the year. And I'm... I'm proud of myself that I met that 10k goal um, and unexpectedly ran it. I am proud of myself for all that I accomplished last year for losing 
you know, like 65 pounds, even though I gained some back, <laughs> um, I lost a lot of weight and I did a really great job. I'm really proud of myself for that. But um, I didn't end on such a high note. And I, um, so I'm a little disappointed in myself because of that. But that's okay. Um, I just have to pick myself up and move on. And I keep telling myself that over and over the last couple months, but I haven't actually done it. And so now it's time to start putting action to my words and actually getting some things done. So it starts with goals. What do I want to accomplish this year?